So if you're new to planting food plots, a couple things you should keep in mind. When you're working fallow land like we're doing here today, there's several steps that you have to do and it sure pays to have some friends in good places. Farmers, buddies who have done food plots before, they can really help you not only get ahead of the game, but do things in fast order. So what we're doing with this food plot here is we wanna have some type of destination plot and that required making a bigger plot on fallow land. The first thing we did is we came in with a mower, put them on high and just got the grass down because the grass was pretty high, it was almost chest high. Next we went in, we sprayed it with glyphosate. Now you don't have to, if you're using glyphosate, a lot of people round up, same thing, it will kill those weeds in short order. Sometimes all you have to do is get that glyphosate on there and dry it. We only allowed three hours, that's all we needed. It dried, it's very hot, it's almost 90 degrees. It was allowed to dry and then we broke the ground got the sod in there. Well, here in the upper Midwest, that means rock country. And I know you have rock country in other places where you live. It's very difficult. What rocks do to a food plot, obviously, they're, you can hear it, they're terror on your equipment, but it's also hard to get forages in there because those rocks retain heat. It kills out a lot of plants. It's also hard to get the lime and the fertilizer in there. So on this plot, we brought in a farmer friend of ours he has a rock picker, he's going in there and that's getting all those stones, the big softball, some of them even larger size stones out of there. But the other big thing that it's doing is getting all that duff, which is the sod and all that dead material, it's getting it off the food plot. It's gonna make for much better seed germination, much better soil preparation. So we're gonna have a successful plot. Hopefully, once we get the seed in, get it cultivated, Another thing we did is we added lime and fertilizer to the finished plot that we already have. Whether you're planting a garden or a food plot, get all the extra stuff off there, especially the rocks and the sod. Get that seed bed nice, test your pH, add lime accordingly, plant your seed, add fertilizer, and you should be good to go. Today's product of the day is the new Scent Killer Gold Power Boost Laundry Detergent. You know, how many of you have those big, huge laundry jugs in your laundry room of soap? You don't need it. This is what you, all you need for the new Scent Killer Gold. Scent killing odor technology with Scent Killer Gold. Power Boost is two times concentrated formula. So all you need is this little capful. You can do an entire load of laundry. You're gonna get many loads out of this for the whole hunting season. Check this out. Brand new from Wildlife Research Center at wildlife.com.